First, we're gonna start with the measurements you need. So you're gonna need your nose, so from your nose to your chin, and then we're gonna get your ear, what we call your, well, what I call your ear, <laughs> sideburns. We're gonna get that measurement, and then the next measurement you're gonna need is from your nose to your ear. Um, that measurement, if you wanted to do it full length, it could be from ear to ear, which is simply double the nose to ear measurement. Now to create the pattern, I folded tracing paper in half and I measured it out 10 inches by 9 inches. And I mean, make it easy for yourself, just do 10 by 10. I'm not sure why I have the 9 in there, but whatever. Fold out 10 by 10 inches. Again, the paper is on fold. So now the folded edge, that is going to be our nose measurement. So the length of that is going to be the nose. So from the top of your nose to the bottom of your chin, that's going to be that measurement. Remember to keep in mind that this measurement is on the fold. So the measurement that I got is 6 inches. So you're going to mark 6 inches, make a straight line across, and then you're going to cut the excess piece off. Now we're going to mark our nose to ear measurement. And I promise you guys, I know how to spell nose. I don't know, yeah, I don't know what I was writing, but we're doing the nose to ear measurement. So that measurement again happened to be six inches. We're gonna mark six inches, do a straight line across and cut that piece off. For the last measurement, it's going to be our ear. Let's call it ear slash sideburn measurement. We're gonna just mark. We're actually not gonna cut anything off yet. We're just gonna do the marking, which that measurement I had gotten three and a half inches. Three and a half, four inches. Yes, I marked out three and a half inches here. Again, we're just marking this right now. To finish off the complete pattern, what you're going to do is from the top of the nose to the ear, we're going to just make a curved line. And I mean this line, if you wanted your shape to be rounded at the top, pointed, even if you want to add a little cute little curve, whatever it is, you're going to do that from the ear to the top of the nose. Now that triangular piece, we're going to cut off. now there it is we completed our pattern I didn't like the top of the nose for mine I didn't like it so pointy so I just snipped it to make it a bit more rounded but yeah so that's the completed half of your mask so when you open it up there's a completed mask I mean take this draft and bring it to your face just to see if it fits if you need to make any adjustments you want to make any cool designs at the top the sides whatever you want to do that now before you actually cut out your pattern pieces so for the fabric that I used, I used some old scrap flannel and then I also had some black cotton fabric. I mean use any scrap that you have or fabric that you have lying in, around. And then you're going to go ahead and cut out your pieces now. For each pattern piece, you will need two pieces. And I mean make this easy for yourself. I pinned mine to the fabric just so it didn't shift and move while I'm cutting. Once you're finished cutting out your first piece, for the second piece, make sure you flip it over to the other side or you're going to have two of the exact same pieces and have to cut out the third piece. So make sure to remember to flip it over on the other side. 
And there it is, the front half of your mask. Now you're gonna cut out the exact same pieces for the black cotton fabric. So you should have four pieces in total. So this part is fairly straightforward. What we're gonna do is face the fabrics right sides facing each other. And down the length of the nose, we're gonna just do a straight stitch straight across. And I mean, for those of you who don't know how to use a sewing machine, it's not that much hand sewing. Sew it by hand, needle and thread, get to working. We're all on quarantine, we got the time. <laughs> so you're gonna sew straight across. So I just wanted to show you, um, not how to sew, but yes, you can sew it straight across. I will be taking mine to the machine and doing that straight stitch across. So there's the completed piece for the cotton fabric. Now you're going to do the exact same thing for the flannel fabric or whatever fabric you decided to use. But yes, do the straight stitch down the nose and you're pretty much done for the first half. Next, we're going to place right sides facing each other. So the raw edges should be on the outsides of both sides of the mask. Now we're going to line it up and pin it together and I mean any um, excess fabric or frieze, just cut that off. We're not going to pin down everything just yet. So what I did to show you, I used a small piece of tape, uh, make the measurement around one and a half inches to two inches in length. We're going to place that down and we're not going to sew this part of the mask. Well not yet anyway. Now you're going to need elastic. So you're going to need a quarter inch elastic or if you prefer a thicker uh, elastic by all means. I used a quarter inch. This is going to be the elastic that's going to go around your ear. So the measurement for the elastic that, to go around the ear, I found the length of the ear to be the exact same measurement needed for the elastic but I will say add an extra inch because you can always adjust the elastic later. So we're going to need two pieces of elastics, one for both sides. We're going to sandwich this elastic in between the two fabrics, only pinning the top and the bottom of the elastic. Now we're going to sew all around the mask, remembering not to sew on that piece of tape. As well, do not sew on top of the elastic. You're going to sew only the top and the bottom of the elastic. I'm going to show you what I mean on my machine so you better understand what I'm saying. So here we're coming up to the top of the elastic, so you're going to sew across the top. When you're coming down the side of the mask, 
make sure you push the elastic out of your way when sewing down the side and then again across the bottom you should be fine when we get here to the tape now we're going to sew up to the tape lift your presser foot and then begin on the other side of the tape or just simply cut the thread and start again whatever floats your boat So now that everything is sewn, we have our little opening, we're going to flip the mask right side out. So we're almost done. Once we take out everything neatly, we just have to sew the small little opening. And I mean grab your needle and thread and we're going to hand stitch that, that part. 